Hello and welcome to another scrap lift crafternoon. This week we are lifting one of our own. This is Christine's birthday scrap lift. So in um, one of my little scrappy tribes birthday month, well in the team, within our team, in their month, birthday month, we will scrap lift them. So that is what we're doing here for this week. I am in love with this layout. There are so many elements that you could draw inspiration from. The butterflies and the way they flutter down the page. This great stripe design happening in the background. I love that she's mixed some florals in and then some graphic elements as well. So this one is going to be a really fun one. I want to thank you for being here and joining me. If this is your first time to your to this channel, hi, I'm Karen. I'm the everything here behind A Little Kinder and I'm so glad that you're here if you're returning, welcome back, friend. Grab something to drink, pull up your supplies, and we're going to make this layout. Talk a little bit about it. I have pulled a bunch of scraps for this layout because I want to do those stripes in the background. I've also pulled some washi tape. I thought this would be a really great time to get this out and use it. I don't know about you. I love to buy it because it goes with all the collections, and then it sits. So I pulled out the um, washi tape that goes with the paper that I pulled the scraps which are from Chamel's main character energy collection one of my favorites and so I am kind of excited to be using the washi tape one thing that I noticed when I was looking at the washi tape is the way it's oriented on the tape if I do it this way as stripes then everything's going to be shifted so I'm thinking I may do my stripes top to bottom in this layout. So in essence, taking Christine's layout and turning it on its side, which I think would be very pretty as well. So I think that's where we're going to go. I have just literally a bunch of straps, scraps, straps, scraps. Um, I've got a lot of the um, branding strips. I thought those would be really nice to kind of pull from. I have You Make Me Smile, and then I have a butterfly, and then I have a whole baggie of butterflies that I have cut out from, um, they're from two different collections. These down here that are very uniform are from Paige Evans, and then the ones that are more painted looking are from Main Character Energy. So we're gonna clear the deck and we're gonna make a layout. Let's start by matting our photos. So the, for the first photo, I did stick it down to the paper and trim it with my paper trimmer. But on this second mat, I decided I wanted to make sure that it was an exact measurement. So I pulled out the Perfect Layers tool. This is something I have used for years and I really love it because it will give me the exact measurement that I want. Yes, I know I could have measured and then taken my um, trimmer and cut it, but this was easier. So I've marked where my photo is going to be. And now I'm going to start the process of building my layers. I am using washi tape. And one of my favorite washi trips is tips, not trips, tips, is to grab a stamp block and then use that to tear the edge of the washi tape. This just gives a clean tear so that it looked a little bit more like the paper strips. We're going to repeat this over and over, working through these different paper strips. There really was not a rhyme or reason as to what went where, other than I just wanted to build this really pretty, colorful background to go with our photo. So we're going to keep working. I worked a little bit from the top, and then I'm working to add to the bottom. I get to the point where I have covered almost everything and I realized that I probably need to go ahead and get my photo where I wanted it so I don't lose my marks. Then it's just gonna be the process of completing out the strips. So this was one of the papers instead of using the branding strip and I just cut it down to the same width as a branding strip and added that in there. I liked that blue on blue dot. I really felt like it helped kind of break some things up and give um, a place for your eye to rest as you look through this very colorful uh, layout. So we are going to go ahead and get all of these little strips down, and then we're gonna start putting some embellishments in place. I really loved this phrase, use your imagination. I thought it worked well 
with the time frame of this photo. And so we've added that up there at the top a second time. Um, once I got everything stuck down, I realized that I wanted to change this. So you'll notice here, I'm pulling out this dreamer. I actually think this is gonna work better. It being on the white background of the paper and then the white background of the word dreamer, it truly gave me a, a softer enter into our strips. So we've edged the edge of these words, happy and brilliant. I've put one over the photo and one under. We put the make you make me smile on to foam tape. And then we're gonna ground it a little bit with this tab edge it out, stick it down, and here we are. We're gonna add in some of our butterflies. This took me a minute. I wasn't 100% sure where I wanted to go with the butterflies, and I end up here, after I have auditioned a lot of them, deciding to go with the butterfly that matches the free spirit square butterfly, and so I've added those in to give it a visual triangle. I did leave this really pretty bright pink one as a pop of color down by my title. I've bent the wings of this little guy so that it gives a little bit of dimension. I know once it goes in the page protector, it'll be a little harder to see, but it is well worth it. So we are going to grab some um, clear dots here in just a second after I've journaled. Y'all, I'm trying to do better about journaling while on camera. We're going to add some of these doodle bug hearts. These are some of my favorites. So I added them in the wings of this bright pink and then I added a butterfly and then I added some in the words. So here we have added the clear dots. It's just, you know, a little something, something to add to the layout. I like finishing touches like this. It really does make your layout shine. Here is our finished layout. So I will get some up close and personal pictures so that you can see all of the details, but I love how this one turned out. I hope that it inspired you to grab your branding strips. I can't say that word today, strips. Grab your washi tape and create a layout because this was super, super fun. I decided since my papers and my washi were so patterny that I did not want to bring in tons of butterflies, but I did want to bring in a nod to the butterflies from the original layout because I think it fit the story here. So I love the way this turned out. Close-ups will be following and then down below, go check everybody else's out, y'all. They are fantastic scrap lifts. Just gonna tell you, you need to be following them if you're not. If you're not following this channel, I would hope that you have been inspired and you want to see what comes next. I will be back with you next Sunday with another Scrap Lift Crafternoon. And there are plenty of videos that pop up during the week too. Make sure you like this video and let me know what you're doing this summer. What are your summer plans? Mine are to scrapbook and relax. So until we're together again next time, my friends, go make some memories. Bye-bye.